On the 12th of December 2022, the BBC reported a breakthrough in nuclear fusion energy as it was the first time scientists had produced more output energy in a fusion experiment than was provided as an input. But how much hope should we pin on this news? How much closer is fusion energy from realization is what we will explore in this video. Nuclear fusion, if realized, has an unfathomable amount of energy that will diminish mankind's energy demand. It is, after all, how stars powered themselves. Fusion started out as a concept in 1920 when Arthur Eddington suggested that hydrogen-helium fusion could be the source of stellar energy. Over the next hundred years, there was little progress in fusion, so much so that the technology was subjected to ridicule as encapsulated by the joke. Fusion is 30 years away and always will be. The progress in nuclear fission by contrast was far more rapid and the energy was successfully harnessed. Nuclear fusion on the other hand was achieved in labs, but the process had always something that rendered it unfeasible. What was the difficulty one may ask? Well, in simple words, for the process of fusion to happen, the nuclei need to collide together to overcome their mutual electrical repulsion. This happens at a very high temperature of tens of millions of degrees Celsius. One can imagine the complexity required in dealing with these astronomical numbers. In the past, whenever fusion was achieved, the energy that was spent in achieving the reaction was greater than the energy released by fusion as a result. In the recent breakthrough, it was the first time that the energy contained in the laser was targeted at a very small area the size of a pencil eraser and was able to fuse hydrogen isotopes producing helium and the energy that was released was more than the input energy. The laboratory's laser had input of 2.05 megajoules of energy which had then produced 3.15 megajoules of fusion energy output. In an ideal situation, part of this 1.1 megajoules of energy would go towards sustaining the process while the rest of it would be available for usage. How the 2.05 megajoule of input laser was generated also requires deliberation. It was produced by the biggest and the most powerful laser gun on our planet. There were 192 laser beams in total that were concentrated on a small volume to produce temperatures reaching over 100 billion degrees centigrade. How much energy was spent in generating of the laser beam is another question that cannot be ignored to find out the total system efficiency. For the recent successful experiment, the efficiency of laser production wasn't revealed. This experiment happened at the National Ignition Facility, NIF in short, in California, and cost $3.5 billion. While we may not be able to produce large amount of sustainable energy with fusion power yet, as it still remains decades away, but this experiment nonetheless is a historic and significant milestone, as it is the first of its kind achievement. You may have noticed that research in private sector is more efficient and rapid. We've seen how quickly SpaceX has built upon the success of NASA's space program and took it way forward. The cost of payload delivery to low Earth orbit that used to be 54,000 US dollars per kilogram was slashed to just $1,400 per kilogram by the Falcon Heavy. And therefore, while there are 50 different countries looking into research of fusion technology, but to move this mountain, there will be private interest required. It is therefore encouraging that Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos have taken a note of developments in fusion technology and are willing to take it further. Both of them helped to raise 3 billion US dollars in 2022 alone. So far, hydrogen in a capsule the size of an eraser was fused successfully. The challenge is to scale up and to keep the cost down. While we may need renewable energy to sustain us in the medium term, but we must not let our eyes off the ultimate price, that is nuclear fusion. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.